five. She's pretty good. With Runaway Storm, I still remember that. Lightning attack. So she's pretty much playing Third Strike Ken. I mean, think of those sleeps as Third Strike Ken sleeps. Think of, uh, you know, sort of down medium punch. Well, it's pretty basically actually is the same role. Right. Uh, down medium kick is basically the same role. Well, that's punishable for sure, but only a low jab from top. Yeah. But her dash is very similar. That was such a cool. Oh, I like that. Good punish. Cancel into short hurricane, short toxic. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Gets the crush. Oh, oh yeah. It just goes for the hard knockdown. Well, it all worked out. That, those crush counter, I mean, maybe Ricky won the, 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 the knockdown, but those crush counter combos will definitely be coming into muscle memory play. Oh, but, I, I love the dash up to down strong. Yeah, I was about to say, Ricky's ability to use that forward dash is so impressive. But see, now Ricky, you know, she just got uppercutted by Ken there in the middle of that rushdown. I don't think that's going to stop Ricky from trying to rush down. No, there's no way. There you go. I like that tech though. I mean, Top is still in there. Yeah. He has a life lead right now. Trying to play patiently. Oh, foot sees the sweep and then the meaty throw. It's just, I mean, look, I've been on the situation that he's in trying to play footsies against Ricky. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give me your best laugh, Karen. Give me your best laugh. No, no. The way the footsies in this game works is like tailor made for players like Ricky and Justin. Agreed, yeah. And and very very strong pressure. I mean, she's seen that she's been able to bully Tolf. And Tolf hasn't really done that much about it. Right. I, I mean, you know, maybe that's a start. Look, you, you can't let that dissuade you on either side mm -hmm. from going in. Ooh, Sometimes the opponent's gonna wake down. up with stuff, you gotta get in there anyway. Oh, well, here it is. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a huge opportunity for Tope. Just missed a jump attack, but then caught him with a surprise. Wow, Ricky with the wake up. Oh, that could be it. If that had been a sweep, if that had been a sweep rather than down medium kick, I think that would have been the round for Tope. Round two. Yeah, most sweeps are punishable in this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if they all are yet, so definitely something to uh, look up. Nice. Yes, that's footsies. It's so beautiful. And the movement back and forth is part of what makes it so tough to nail down where mm -hmm. she is. Yeah, again, see, that was the second time he's done wake up uppercut and he's gotten the hit there. And I, like I said, I, that's not going to discourage Ricky at all. Because she's just going to, see that? She just went for the meat again. Didn't care. No, no, no care in the world for that. Well, she has a good understanding of what the risk reward is. Right. See, anytime that rocket goes off in the background, I think it's a doom hidden missile. Like, seriously, like, I feel like something's falling from the sky after Oh, that. nice. There you go. There was one point where I really feel like Tof could have started. Ryu, and we asked him what he thinks about Ryu. He thinks Ryu may be top five character. He has some faith in Ryu. It's, it's, a, it's a good sign. I think you were the one who said it to him too, is that everyone we talk to seems to think that their character is top five. <laughs> That's a really great sign. Right. Ooh. He's looking good so far. Oh. I loved his movement on the Jimmy. way into this corner. Yeah. You know, yeah. just sort of cautious, moving forward, moving forward. I love the idea of that against a limb. I oh, think that's super smart. Yeah. Oh, you can punish. And remember, uh, during the... Oh, oh, he's done it twice. During the, the... Before Lupe and Daigo did play each other, they had some exhibition matches at the Foundry, and Forward played against Graham Wolf. Now, granted, Graham Wolf did not use his main character, but uh, Forward did really well against Graham Wolf's Bison. I love this movement by the Ryu. I love the timing. It's so fast, too. His dash, Forward's forward dashing has really been the most impressive thing to me. You see, after he blocked that standing forward, he dashed up immediately. Yeah, this is a Ryu that has pretty good movement, no doubt. See how he just keeps dashing after blocking all those butts? Remember we talked about how that stand roundhouse was minus five? That's the kind of thing that you would, oh, Ooh, he can take advantage. Man. Just uses it to activate. Oh, nice movement. You teach it. Oh, oh, the shimmy. Oh, get oh, it's unblockable. That was ah. so good. That was so good. Yes, yeah, so big. Right. But you're going to get swept. Oh, my God. Two dashes in right away. Again, going right in there. And I think UTJ just isn't ready for a Ryu that does this. Nobody looks at Ryu and thinks, oh, 
I'm gonna dash in like crazy. I'm gonna have to, as the other player, gonna have to look for such big movement, but here it is, and UTJ has to adapt. Oh, I love the hurricane attempt, but great stuff for UTJ to get under there. Oh, that stand here, so I know they're Nice. Beautiful. And the stun, and oh, he's gonna him, cook. Let him cook, let him cook. Oh, well, he didn't cook too much. Oh, enough, the, though, enough. Yeah, uh -huh. He's done, he's done. Yeah. <laughs> Not overly done. Round two. Got some nice uh, shabu shabu there. Yeah, I definitely want a lot more of this. Now, notice that even though that's pushing you back, Ryu, there's a bunch of white life over there on his side. It's gone now, but that is a big part of why Dalsum, I think, is successful. Oof. Oh my god, the stun! That offense from Ryu? Oh, it's oh. so pretty. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, Street Fighter V is a slow game. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, he's getting is getting in there. <laughs> in there. Wow. I don't know if he has a back on his stick at all. Just taped to the left. All right, good throw. Tries to get him away, but again, when you see him throw that fireball, that is your opportunity to dash forward with Ryu or with any character. Oh, what an what an anti jump! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! It. Oh no! Oh, good block! Oh, still a chance. What can he do? Oh, the reversal! What can you say? I mean. He hasn't been at all the betas, so a lot of people haven't had to come up with a lot of tech for him. You yeah. know, he's definitely the lowest tech character right now because of that. But there's quite a high ceiling. Ooh. I like that double throw. Oh, cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like some of that stuff. Um, anyway, Paul B. Playing with Karen. Yes. Uh, I played against Paul B myself. His Karen. Uh, I like it. It's very cautious. Um, but, you know, it can be in your face really quickly all of a sudden and I think that's a that's a great way to play Karen. You know, he's not he's not always oh Ooh. that was pretty great. Um, oh and he comboed off of it too. That was awesome. Oh good block, it. good block. Oh, oh wow. that could have been it. That's punishable for yeah, sure. Yeah she she shouldn't have been able to take it if he had a proper punish on it. But yeah look at this. He's just having so much trouble trying to fit, find a way in. Oh boy that's bad news. Oh but a wake up jab to challenge Round two. Anyway, notice the way that Paul's playing is not very buttonsy. Now I've talked about the footsies for this character, which I think are really, really strong. But the way he plays it is almost like that mid-range isn't there. He's using the movement instead. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's bad. I think that that's just a different way to play the character. It seems pretty cool. Ooh, try to get out the V skill. V skill, of course. Throws the poison across the screen, but it's not a traditional fireball. In fact, it doesn't even trade with other fireballs, and you don't get into any hit stun for getting it, but you just get poison. But the poison, I mean, you'll notice if it comes up, it really doesn't take off much life. It's very right. slow. So, you know, you can't let it control you. You have to kind of work around it, just walk through it or whatever like that. Let yourself get poisoned. Oh, boy. Oh, no, Ooh. that could have been bigger. Oh, oh, I like yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Uh, the back off option. Once she activates the V-Trigger, she turns into old school Karen. Oh, there we go, punish. Oh, God, there's just stuff everywhere on the screen. Oh, okay. cute. A tiny bit of life. Oh, gets out of there. Crab, walk away. Oh, just wants to chip it out, maybe? Yeah, but That's... can't kill on chip, remember. No, you're right. But Karen can, because she's sitting on a full meter. So she can combo right into a super and get the chip kill. I but, love this patience though from Paul. Yeah, but does she want to see? Oh, she just gets a low forward. I, I love that because there, like I said, had almost been no buttons in the mid range yeah, from uh, Paul. And so at the very end there for him to dash up and get it. If I were Hyro, I wouldn't have been looking for that either. <laughs> Jump right into it. Now, punishable. But I'm not sure what Fong's punishes are. I like this double throw when they quick rise. Mm. Yeah, you see Paul B, when he saw that fireball coming, he neutral jumped and then blocked. He could have just neutral jumped and walked right through it. It wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. It's just muscle memory. Yep. Could have juggled okay. with a super, but he didn't. He's going to save the meter. Well, that was kind of neat. I didn't know that move knocked you down like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
Good blocks. Yeah, what patience from Paul. No, oh, that should be it. And you can't die from poison, but it'll drain you down to zero for sure. Appropriate for the style he's been playing. Again, great movement. But, you know, more options from farther away. Karen doesn't really have that. I like that he was willing to backdash into that uh, uh, I just, yeah. I just almost feel like the poison doesn't matter. Right. Just play, uh, just play your game, whatever your game is. Yeah, you know, honestly, Fang is going to be one of those characters that if you ever perfect him, you know you did something right. Because even when he activates his trigger, you just walk next to him and you get poison. Right, yeah. That's so nice that that blocks fireballs. See, and if Hyrule was used to that, he would have countered right through that. Oh, the, the mine? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh, the mine uh -huh. is a just little fireball that sticks by itself. Yeah, but even just the one hit of the mine will absorb the entire fireball. Yeah, for sure. Even though it was a two-hit EX. Yeah, this definitely seems to be working out better for Paul B, uh, this character pick. Yeah, I think this makes a lot of sense considering how Paul likes to play. I don't know if I would mind. Oh, okay. Oh, but actually the poison is slowly by slowly getting him to catch up on life. Okay. It's pretty far away now. Good, good amount of white life. He gets oh. hit. Oh, look how much damage he took. Now down to zero life. Yep. It's tough now. No, okay. that's really good. I like a, that. A lot of people are using sweeps in the mid range like that. I feel like that's something that will mostly go away. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's just a panic button. Oh, nice. Now, if you do that cross the brown house, you can actually do fierce into the rush punch. You just have to delay the cancel on the fierce. He's a charge character. It's kind of funky, kind of weird. But you can do it. Bong Moxa has some really interesting jump attacks. Oh, oh. We're really seeing Paul B get in there now. I, I like that a lot. Oh, see? Woo. That jump attack is just deceptive range. It's almost like that Hugo jump fierce in, uh, in the old Street Fighter 4. And much more uh, pressure-heavy style from Hyro. Yeah. Moving in a lot more, not just zoning. Something that Paul's forced him to do. Ooh, okay, got right over that with the jump roundhouse. Ooh. Nice. Oh, I thought he was going to get more. No. I did like that forward uh, dash from Paul B, even though it got stuffed. I like the idea of it. And you can see right there. It, 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 it. All right, well, Hyro's not going to change characters. He's going to stick with Funk, even though Paul B's character change worked very well for him. Yeah, I guess that's just his character. He's always been like that. You know, he's just, he, yeah, he picks yeah. a character and he goes with it. Regardless of how good the character is. I like this though. I, I really like his sort of cautious caging. Yeah. You, oh, not that. Really, really else, pay though. attention to the, that distance right there. That Hyro is just kind of hanging out. It's a really kind of neat distance because of Fong's better range. But Paul B has broken through, and look at this, close to stun. Ooh, he gets. Okay, so he's okay now. Don't always forget if you're close to stun, do a B reversal because it'll drain your stun. It's a very, 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 very useful tool in those situations. And again, there's that distance again. But uh -oh. what I don't like is that Hyro has just gone to the sweep way too many times at that range. Yeah, I feel like it's really cost him. Yeah. It's worked like once or twice, but it's also caused him to lose a lot of momentum. It does move him forward. That's nice. But yeah, it's just too punishable. Yeah, like this is fine. Uh, oh, no. see again. Cute punish. Yeah. But I mean, it was the same thing, right? Hyro did it, and he thought, oh my god, I might get counter swept. So Paul B used that opportunity to run in, caught up, catch him by surprise, and get the throw. All right, so Paul B now on match point after that Karen start didn't work out for him. But the Ken has definitely been paying off. Again, now let's not see the low round. See, I like the low strong poke. That's good. I yeah. really feel like Hyrule can just hang out right here. Right, he doesn't exactly. really need to make anything happen. But he has been, yeah, he's been yeah, see, putting uh, himself into bad situations. I love the spacing, but then the options that he chooses when he's there have not been the greatest. Yeah, see, like, I think that this works right now. Right. Yeah, the yeah. Fang has some anti airs. Stand medium kick, 
stand jab, crouching fierce, those are all good options yeah, for you. He also hasn't punished Paul B for jumping backwards in the corner yet. Right. Oh, again, that button. Oh, no. Now, Paul has really just been able to play sort of this weird defensive game as Ben <laughs> in the last oh. couple of rounds. And you see right there, the sweep is also missed. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful stuff. Using the V reversal to try to cancel the momentum. Also save himself from maybe a potential dizzy. I didn't see how much stun he had beforehand. A lot of white life on Hyro's side. Oh! oh, okay. And he's getting a lot of poison now. So don't do anything. You don't have to do it, but don't run away. Keep that distance that she had. I'm with you, James. Oh, oh it worked, okay, though. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. now we're at match point for both. Okay, okay. Final round. Down to the last round. Fight. Now Hyro, kind of interestingly playing a, away again. Yeah, get back in there again. Get into his face again. I really like that when he played that way, don't use the sweep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no need for that. Yeah, see, and that's a nice thing that Thong has, those interesting jump attacks. Makes it when he jumps at you, you're more scared to try to anti-air him because you're not sure if he hits a button or not, and he's got that really low-hitting kick. Yeah, medium kick is a really good jumping. All right, so back to you. The coward crowd. I didn't even know he had a coward crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a kick out of it, too. It's like a stance. It's weird. Definitely a character I probably know the least about for uh, yeah, obvious yeah. reasons. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, see, it doesn't even stop the fireballs. But here comes Paul B. He's got a good life lead. Losing a little bit of life through poison, but it's okay. fine. Well, you know, pretty soon it's not going to be fine. Ah! Ooh, crush counter. So I like the fact that he used that hard knockdown as an opportunity to push him backwards, get him a little out of the corner. Paul B backing off a little bit. I love the movement again from higher. Oh, nice! Here's Paul. Here comes the poison. Oh, no, the poison stopped. Oh, right back away. Oh, that should be it. Yeah. Well, could have been it, but another chance. Yeah, I can't die by chip, so block those fireballs all day. Oh, ten, ten seconds. Se yeah. Nine seconds. Can Hyro get in there? I'm not sure if he has a chance, really. Just block it out. Oh, oh he's hold on. Hit, and he's got to throw. The poison. poison. The poison. poison. Oh, he gets the hit. Oh, oh the head, no. But it didn't kill. It didn't kill. No. It Well, he has now become an old Wait, man. Are you out? Oh, did you see that crush counter? Okay, that was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. I hope Chef does that like eight more times because that was like the sickest thing I've ever seen. You know, these guys played in winners also. Now that I think about it, Wonder uh, Chef and Cole. Yes, they did. So they played in winners. That means Cole must have beat them. Yeah, Cole beat them in winners, uh, and then now they're playing again in losing finals with their pool. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, Wonder Chef, a Mortal Kombat player, also an ESL commentator for Mortal Kombat. Oh, he could have whipped on his Gale there. Very tech-driven player, person. Definitely, yeah, very technical player. Oh, that could have been punished, though. So what he did uh, earlier was standing roundhouse the limb from full screen and also and get a crush counter. Oh, there's that target combo there. Medium punch everyone. Uh, and I hope he goes for that some more. I think that's a really good idea against Dalton. Especially since uh, you can combo a slide with Bison. Now, look at the white life. Oh, he gets hit. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's an overhead, yep. Look out! Doesn't get the slide too far. All he needs is one roundhouse crush counter. Oh, okay. So close. No, whoa, oh, nice, trigger cancel. Nice, nice, nice. He's oh, he is a, he is a double oh, look out! Combo? No, he could have comboed off of that. That's a standing Chef. jab anti air. He could have done roundhouse, low strong flame, and that would have been it. Uh, but instead, he jumped in, got hit by the jab. Jason Cole on the board. Hey, punter. There's a lot of recovery there on that, that back side of Okay, has Fireball in there. Oh, and that's Ooh, definitely going to not get to save, yeah. Do you know if, uh, I know Chef played Ultra Street Fighter 4. Do you know if he's a charge character? Uh, I don't think so. But I think his execution is good enough that he's too far. There's that roundhouse there looking for crush counter. Oh, Got big him. chance, but went for another frame trap. And sometimes you don't expect to get hit. Ooh, is that jump back jab again? And then, wow, that looked like a punish. That dash in there. There's that Dalsum pressure that we've seen online. That's a weird sentence to say. Yeah, but dude. in this game, Dalsum's pressure is nasty. Wow, oh, in dirty. The front. Not even a Mortal Kombat player could block that 50-50. No. Well, that's because they just hold the block, but usually. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. When Mortal Kombat, whoa, that was crazy. But what a block from Michael Cole. Did you say oh, Michael Cole? I said Afro Cole. Okay. No, I didn't. Michael Cole is a wrestling commentator. It's really oh, funny. Really? Yeah.
there, you know? Relax, Steve. Yeah. Watch your language. Jesus. You're out of weight. Can he can he be still that? Oh yeah, okay. Wow, he throws a, an up fireball horizontally. That's cheating. He does whatever he wants with it. He's Lord Bison, dude. Actually, he only knows how to throw things forward. He hasn't learned how to throw it upward yet. See, there's that crush counter again. That's crazy. Oh, Got him. the frame trap, but a drop from Wonder Chef. Reverse position here. Afro Cole in there. All kinds of nice. plus frames on uh -oh. that. No punish. Training some jab there. Oh, and there's those scissor kicks. The double knee press. Wow, teleported through with that dash. Okay. Just needs a bit more. Oh, wow. Try to get in there with Devil's Reverse. Didn't work out. Uh -oh. It's going to be big damage. We're really ducking. Man, Avrogo really likes that me skill in the round myself. Oh, there's the Gale from... Yeah, he's plus there. Chef tried to hit a button both times. Another yeah. throw will do it. So what, what Chef really isn't doing is punching Dawson landing frames when he hits an attack. Yeah, you're right about that. Wow, caught him with the raw scissors. Wow, he's all on fire in the wind. That was so cool. <laughs> so Chef puts himself on the board with a round there. Avrogo uh, still looking really solid so far. He hasn't been out of it yet. I think you gotta slide. Nice. On that board. If I'm Wonder Chef, I'm just looking for Fireball and gonna slide. Slide reaction? Yeah. You gotta probably be close enough though, right? Probably, yeah. The slide is in a full screen thing. There's also pressure there. Oh, and he had so many plus frames there. He got the walk up and go down here. So close to stun here, yeah, too. Yeah, very, very close. We're not, though. Nice slide. Got him out of there. Wow, we're flying. Oh, what is happening? Nice stop. Beast kills for Jason Cole here. Pressure, no throw. Good bait, though. There's that there, overhead. Yeah. Did you see that he got? He did teleport into the flame in the air? He had time to dash forward and do crouching fierce. He had that many plus frames there. And you see, Chef doesn't really want to approach too hard because uh, Cole's been teleporting a lot, so he's just looking for any jab out of the air to get it. Teleport. Oh, and he got him. Wow, that's punishing. Punish. Yes, no, it wasn't very big. Yeah, I mean, he could have got more than that. Sure. Now Chef's starting to run into some things. Oh, there's the stun. And he has super. Boom, 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 looking to close boom, it out. There it is. If it combos, it'll be enough. It's all some super. There it is. Hits him with the entire. Round one. Uh, right. Between Snake Eyes being pumped up on some Red Bull, cultivating pools. <laughs> it was real good. Oh, headbutt. Oh, he could have comboed after, but got a little greedy with that reset. Man, I like the, the fireball so far from Laura. I like her playing a little slower. And then maybe now that Geef is not thinking about it, dash in and start some offense. That would be the game plan, I think. Ooh, big whiff on the elbow there. No punish on her. Ooh, corner position here for Geef is really big. Oh, but she gets out. Oh, she's away. Does she have an anti-air option without meter? That's good. Yeah, she has, uh, I think it's crouching medium muncher or something like that. She has like this elbow. All her strikes well, are It's a high elbow, right? Yeah. She has, she has a grounded anti air that, that works. I just don't think he's gone to it yet. <laughs> he headbutts that hell out. He's of upset with him. There you go. Yeah, that's really nice for non cross up jump. You see Laura canceling all the normals into back V skills just to get out of there. Got a punish. Nice. Very nice. Coffee looking great and also sounds great right now. Could use the coffee. <laughs> oh, punish. Oh, it doesn't get it. That was a big chance on whip SPD. Yeah, this is going to be air SPD. Oh, yeah. Oh, he no, could have just done jump air SPD and kill. Yo, that would have been it. Maybe he doesn't have confidence in his air EX SPD skills yet. Both of them with tons of super meter. Very close life bars here. Ooh, nice. Ooh, big roundhouse. That could have been V trigger chance with Aldo. Round two. All right, really slow first round there. Yeah, yeah, lots of zoning for both players now. Yeah, she's throwing about 500 fireballs. If she didn't have full meter, I'd be real surprised. A real defensive style from Laura so far. I like it. Not really ruts, uh, rush down in your face. And that nice. combo. Fireball damage, too. And I thought Coffee would kind of zone for a while and then head in real fast, right? Just like that. But we haven't seen a ton of that so far. No, it hasn't felt the need to. Yet. He's got a good life lead. Strategy seems to work out so far. Fully charged Fireball there. Ooh. Oh, he got right her. grab. I want to see more of that. I want to see it again, yeah. Oh, here we go. He's in. Oh, no anti air. Yet. Oh, boy. Oh, big chance. Oh, and a drop. Oh, oh my God. Out. Man, again. SPD there. So many drops from Laura so far from Coffee. Still, our V trigger is sticking here. 
Oh, what? Are you serious? I think that's enough. Dang, and the next snap of Rooney. Wow, good stuff of coffee. Lucky. You know you can turn that voice off, whoever set up the console here. Are you serious? I didn't know that. Yeah, you can. All right, more zoning for Coffee. Ooh, no combo there. Wow, it is so a combo many, regularly. So many crush counters. Okay. Lots of people standing around watching now. The pools are over, and everybody's pretty much waiting for their chance to play. Fireball set up on screen. Oogie. Uh oh, what's up, Lock? He's gonna spend all of it? No. Yeah, still has chance for maybe one more vacuum now. Yeah, V trigger is out. Oh, wow. he's going through. That's punish? No! There's a lot of whiff recovery there. I just didn't take advantage. I'd like to see Laura maybe pop some V-Trigger here just to get better fireballs. Okay. There it is. And backs off right away. Yeah. That standing round has been really good to her so far. Yeah, lots of that. The next fireball there. Oh, it's still going. It just persists forever. It's too slow. Yeah. Put a lyric, pass through. You know what's funny? That's one of those times where being slow is really nice. Yeah. Right. Really helped out. More projectiles. Oh, no anti are there. Just got away with the jump. Oh, big chance to punish. Yeah. And goes for the knockdown. I like that she didn't want the standing reset. Doesn't want to be close to keep it. There. Finally, first command throw from Laura. I think we've seen. Definitely. Man, this is a really interesting style of Laura. Yeah, hit, very hit and run. It's, it's been a ton of fun to watch. Uh, and I think this is probably the way to play against Zangi. I think it's, this is probably the matchup, exactly. Yeah, it's probably the way to do it. That slow, persistent fireball seems like it's uh, a lot of trouble for him. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking, like, geef has got a bunch of beauty. He's not really going to use it. Like, what could he possibly use it on? Other than critical art? Like, yeah. like from too close a distance, if the Alex really help him? Definitely not EX Green Hand. I mean, maybe air EX SPD, like, just jump with her and do it? Yeah, you gotta pray that she goes for the, the anti-air grab. One more round else will do it. Otherwise, EX running bear grab would throw the fireball. Not a bad idea. Okay, big chance. There you go, that was good. Oh, and he didn't get the full jungle there. Oh, he got a super. Critical Art's all, still on deck, so he's not out of it. Oh, it's still going. Oh, I thought he was gonna get hit, and there's the surprise V-Skill. Copy's yep. gonna take it. First time you just a lot of people have not admitted because they're a bunch of dorks. They're dirty, tech-hiding gaijin, uh -huh. but not F-Champ. He doesn't no, care. No, no, no. He's all about that beta pride. And uh, Bobino here rocking the Rashid, very active mobile character. And I, I talked to F-Champ a little bit about some of the matchups he didn't like with Dalsum and all that. Uh, and one of the things is uh, highly mobile characters, he said he feels Dalsum has to match their mobility. That's what he kind of has to do. Yeah. Oh, man. Dalsum getting pressured early. There's so those standing medium kicks from Rashid. And one thing You'll is, right, trade. Yeah, if he jumps and he thinks Dalsum's going to anti air, he can go for dive kick in the air. Uh, Ouch. And that's a really, just like that, right? Good punish. Uh, it's unsafe on block, but it can throw off Dalsum just going for anti air every time. Oh, wall jump is a threat there. That's what he's doing for. There's the V trigger. Wall jumping nice out. Nice stuff to get away from the V trigger flame carpet there. Oh, V trigger pops, huh? Interesting. Wow, and Champ just disrespected it. Oh, anti air jab from Got Champ. Got him. Man. Really scrambly first round there. Champ yeah. got the better of it. Bobino trying to stay active and move around, but it's tough, man. Yeah, both players full meter now to start the second round. Oh, there's the jump. Oh, and yeah. the instant air gale. Yeah, and there it is again. Bobino wants out. Champ's not having it. Wow, he under it? I, I think he was just still rising there. Wow, Champ ate that big jump yeah, in, but no, no combo. Punish. There it is again. Takes the big risk. Oh, in the front. Back to the front, yep. Yeah, that wall jump there kind of homes onto you. He X Flame, Teleport mix up. Oh, he got him. Double down Two? Fierce all counter the way. Hit? Yeah, probably counter hit only. Got Instant air. First game for Champ. Instant overhead jump Fierce because, you know, a heavy button doing for Lively. He's in his younger years. <laughs> Here we go, game two, Champ. It's a good start. Start with that round now. Bobino trying to play a little bit more ground game with the spin here instead of just, okay, finds a knockdown. That forward medium punch media, real nice. Oh, oh, big jump. God. Okay, has corner positioning still. In the front. Champ aware of it, though. Yeah, and Bobino's playing real scrambly here. He's playing real off the walls, trying to throw off uh, Champ. I think if you let Champ get in control and just kind of slow things down, it's going to be all him. You really do need to, to make things really active and crazy and try to throw him off. That back throw again. B trigger activated. 
Wow. Use it to go up higher in the air. Very there's nice. the overhead. Blocks. Of course, f Champ has the block there. Oh, and, and there's overhead, the overhead. Though, Bobino gets on the board at the round. Man, you got you. I like the way he's made things active. He's made things a little bit more off the walls. And I think that's really what you need to do with Dalsum, right? If you let him just set up and control things, it's right. going to be Right, is pretty good at that. He definitely is. And this is massive corner positioning here for himself. Wow. Good stuff. Over the slide. Back in the front. Oh, man. Good pressure here. You see, Pimchamp didn't want to hit a button there. He was waiting for that EX uppercut Even though it was reversal. minus two. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Bobino woke up crouching fierce there. And he's just backing off. Yeah, he's waiting out the V-Trigger and all that white life he accumulated. Yeah, you see Bobino jumping whenever he sees the champ teleport. That way he avoids the mix-up. Oh, wow. Man, Bobino getting a little too hurried to try to get in. Oh, baited out the uppercut that time, and Bobino didn't go for it. Good stuff from Chap there. Done a good oh, job of yep. slowing things down. Yeah, there's yeah, that, jump in there. that V trigger in a roundhouse. I'd like to see him do Rashid's fl uh, flying kick yeah. whenever he sees Dalton jump. That'd be a good idea, yeah. I think that dive kick would be a good answer to that. There it is. See, so he blows up that ant here with it. I was talking about his running jump, actually. Yeah. Running jumping kick? Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. Okay, standing medium kicks there. Oh, oh interesting. Good yeah, Bobino actually used to play Rufus in Street Fighter 4. The dive kick, you know. Pretty, pretty used to it. To him. Okay, trying to stay mobile here and active, but he has himself cornered here. Oh, and a good escape with that wall jump. And double down fierce again. Big damage there from Champ. Oh, yeah, good lead here from Champ. Looking to close it out. The set is oh, very so close, close to stun. stun. Instant overhead coming? No, he just backs off. Wow, so teleporting so much there. No anti here. V trigger is activated. Oh, and he tried to be a reversal. Big chance for Bobino here. When oh, that's unsafe. And that's nice going to be it. That was a good answer because even if he went for dive kick there, that's. Round one. Rocking the blue and purple Geef. Wow, that is a sick color Geef. So I'm curious to see how uh, he deals with this Dalsum here because this is a character that Geef is probably not going to have a good time getting in again. Uh, it's not going to be fun. So he's oh, really got to make good use of forward fierce, V skill, stand roundhouse, low jab, all those tools. Yeah, you see yep. there. But that, all that oh, does is oh. add white life. Yeah, so yeah. when he jumps, he, t he takes extra damage there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the V-Skill is way there. <laughs> One poke at a time. He's Yeah, he's just going to pick him apart here. And Cham thinks that. He, he told me after watching Snake Eyes play that he's like, wow, Geef looks way better than I thought. He was like, before I saw him play, I wasn't so sure. Uh, he's like, but Dalsum's still fine. Oh, yeah. That's what he said. Dalsum fights Geef, so I'm not really worried about it. And so far, it's been all champ. He just had, you know, this normals at every range. Not looking pretty. Yeah, and any any hit from champ will do it. All that white life added up, yeah, that'll do it. It's the fierce. So Snake Eyes has really got to figure something out here to deal with Dalsum. Because uh, that first round was, you know, he had he tried a bunch of stuff, but he got, like, no damage on Dalsum. Now he's trying a lot of dashes in instead of just uh, jumping or anything like that. Trying dash. It's a good option, I think. Guessing with Lariat there, not a bad, not a bad try. Oh, okay, he got him, and he's got corner positioning here. Oh, he got. Okay, he got him. That is a good punish, especially yeah. on Dalsum. Low it's gonna be character. crazy damage output, but it's a lot of meter. Okay, Ow. and a hard read again from Snake Eyes. Just needs a few more, but this is gonna be big. Look at the white life adding up here for Snake Eyes. He's got to be careful. Wow, oh, in the gosh. combo off of it. Can he get more? Ooh, and he decks him. <laughs> 13 hits. <laughs> he had like 80% V life or white life there too. All right, so Snake Eyes figured stuff out there. Oh, oh he's flexing. That was sick. <laughs> he's flexing. But look at all that white light. Look at how much health he's down already. Yeah, I know. Just a couple pokes of chip. He's like 30% uh, down already. He's really got to find his way in. It's, it's not been easy so far, but when he finds the, the way in, he can make the hard reads. There's a sweep. This stuff didn't get hit by the fireball either. Okay. Champ's still fighting well out of the corner here. All these buttons are, are working out. And there's the slide, wow, the man. Slide. He just knows. And there's the X fireball, and now he's out. Yeah. Oh, and he did the wrong normal there. That could, that, oh, that could be the start. Uh oh, here we go. He's going to have V trigger here. He's got full meter oh, two. Oh, and he can V trigger. No. He's that trying. He's vacuuming. <laughs> Hoovering it up. Oh, and he just dashed. Got a little greedy, but you it know what? It wasn't even a punish. I'm figuring yeah, things out. Adaptation. And I don't know if Snake Eyes was a beta boy. I don't know how much he knows about fighting uh, Sim, but it's, it's. It's not easy. You really have to learn the no, matchup. This is this is no ordinary sim. Yeah, this is this is the evolution of sim. This, this sim, this character is really strong and, and 
you know, Filipino champ playing. So. Oh my goodness. Okay, he got him. And that's gonna about tie things up here. Still a little bit of a lead for uh, champ here. Get oh, and that's girl. a combo. Wow. wow, look at how close the stun. Stun! Ooh. He's gonna have big damage here. Lariat, yeah, look at that combo. That did like eight, that was a ridiculous amount of damage. Holy crap. Yeah, Champ leaned back in his chair after that one and looked at me like, he said, what the F? <laughs> Dolphin got nine her stamina, man. Yeah, that Confirmed. was that was a beating. Yeah, that was nuts. Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, I, I think Champ has not played against a Geef that's like this. You know, right. uh, which makes sense, right? The game's so young. Even if you are a beta boy. Ooh, there's that down Pierce to intercept the dash from Snake Eyes. He just did it at a range where if Snake Eyes didn't move, it wouldn't have worked. Uh, but there was a really nice idea. White life for Snake Eyes is pretty uh -oh. big right now. Oh, man. And Trouble. he's going to spend super. Wow. Kind of unnecessary considering his life lead and it's only second round. And he's, you know, he's behind the round. Yeah, I think he's just trying to secure this round, but it's not over yet. Snake Eyes well, still has a chance here. There's the reset. Oh, Good and teleport. it was so greedy. Yeah. Oh, big chance. He can combo super. Yeah. He's going to. And look, Bing, look, if he gets bang, the ball. if he gets the next one, it's done. Oh, <laughs> and he gets the next one, crush counter them. Uh, Chaz, like, I don't like that. What it was. Uh, second game goes to Red Bull Snake Eyes. Figured some stuff out there. Was really good about approaching. He made a couple of hard reads, and really the V trigger is the hero. So I think that him eating all these attacks with V skill, he probably doesn't mind because as soon as he builds up that V trigger, he now has something to answer Dalsim with. Right? Right. He now has stuff that he can do. Oh, Snake Eyes trying to jab there. Okay, this is how much he was down before last round when you watch it. Oh, crush, crush counter. counter. Here we go. He's in. Oh, oh but just gosh. early. He's got the suck in, but it's not going to work out there. Flex him. Oh, big him. chance. Big round out jump in there. What's he going to reset with? The splash. And he's got the SPD again. So close to stun. One more will do it. Pierce. Oh, good oh, flame carpet. Oh, he's trying to get in. Oh, and he did the jump medium kick. Oh, and... Man, champ fighting out there. That was absolutely. Oh my gosh, he went He's in. He's got though. it in the headbutt and the sweep. That was a block. Why'd he go in? He thought he had a way out. Well, Snake's really got to be careful here. Oh, he doesn't jump. All he needs to hit is one Filipino in? champ on the rope. Snake Why Eyes match point. In? He keeps taking I mean, he, the risk. Yeah, he scratched his head. Why am I going in? He has looked unbeatable all night. He's looked so strong. And now Snake Eyes is really making it work. Big damage there on that. Oh, and he goes oh for it, and another God. SPD. Wow, is he stunned? He's so close. He just needs one. Snake just there. needs one. Oh, and he was looking going for down it. Okay. the flame carpet. Stun safe now. Yeah, Champ did a good job weathering the storm there. That was really nice of him just to, to block that whole situation out, right, and get himself some space right. here, which is what he needs. And keeping him out has been so easy for Champ that I'm surprised, you know, when it's like that low-life situation, why not go back to this? Yeah, this has been where it's good. But Snake Eyes has found ways in. Uh, and the thing is, he just needs one. He just needs that one in. He needs to land that V-Trigger. Oh, nice oh, combo boy. from Champ. But V-Trigger now for Snake Eyes. You really got to be careful with the Champ. Oh, all he needs is one. And he's got, he's got the super there, too. He, if he can combo into super, it'll be enough. Oh, he's my got God. And he's going to do jump EX. And that's well, going to be that's enough. It. Snake Eyes takes it 2-1 over Filipino Red Champ. Good, right? Four wood on player one side, I think. I, I mean, they're both yeah. playing Ryu, so it's like, uh, who knows? Four blued. Wow. And he wrote him in white. I don't know. Oh, the shimmy there was so ridiculous. Wait. It's like switched. I don't know. Yeah, even the names. Are, I don't know what's happening. Okay. Oh, you see that little four dash back dash there? That's a really good way to shimmy with Ryu. Yeah, four dash back dash is really fast. Ryu four dash, 16 frames. It's crazy fast. Oh, what a walk under. That's punished on that fireball, yeah. Tried it. Crush counter. Wow. I'm trying to see their hands and see who's what doing what. was that combo? That was ridiculous. There's the throw, and he's real close to stun. Shimmy in there. Oh, that's unsafe, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's the back throw again. Oh, charged oh it up. Oh, my yeah, gosh. The EX is fast to charge him, too. Good stuff. And dash in the throw will do it. Yeah, so what you want to do with that charge up fireball, right, is you want to hold it just long enough for your opponent to see it and be like, oh, man, I should get out of here. Something and then is definitely wrong with our names because our 1P guy was not the blue character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, something's weird with the names for sure. Yeah. Even even if the names are right, the blue ray is on player one. Right. So I don't get it. Stand like kick uppercut. There you go. He gets it. Ooh, the neutral here. 
Oh, and a big yes, jump. Sir. Not quite stunned, but pretty close. Oh, and that's going to be that, yeah. Ooh, double strong. So, one round of pop. Ryu Ryu. We're playing at Karen's house. That open bar in the back right there. <laughs> the eSports Arena open bar. It's closed now. It's closed. It's open next week. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, no anti air upper guy. And there's the back throw. Yeah, stand tech there. I thought he was going to parry that second fireball, too. Ooh, okay, there's a little shimmy there. Thought he was going to get it. Oh, punish. Yeah. yeah. Ryu sweep, really nice button, but very unsafe. Ooh, With shimmy. The pressure. With the, ooh. Yeah, Ryu standing like it actually is four frame startup. So you can't actually punish the forward fierce punch with the standing like it. Oh, and a dash under. Wow. Okay. We have a jump in. Oh, and he just blocks it out. Wow. Fish it. Wait, combo? Yes, sir. Ooh, and he's got it with the V trigger cancel yes. on the uppercut. Good the only stuff. way to combo off of uh... In six stuff. There's the anti air jab. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and he got Four would definitely in the white. Yeah. That confirmed it right there. Yeah, you think so? Oh, I think yeah. he might be right. Oh, fishing with standing roundhouse though, yeah. Oh, and he, nice. dude, 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 did you see him walk up mm -hmm. just outside of throw range and just stop? Yep, like, your yeah. tech. I hope you throw because I'm going to hit you with standing medium punch. What a combo here. Yeah, forward is definitely player two. I saw the hands when he was doing that combo. <laughs> I saw the hands. This man is player two. This man is shimmying. This man is also on match point. Game up. Oh, double, double dash, dash at the start. That's some bravery. That's like the I'm beating you. I'm I about to hand frozen. you this beating boy. The X fireball there to blow through. Oh, and the parry gets baited. Oh, did you, dude, do you see forward dash, back dash? Just to get in there and threaten. Oh, my gosh. That forward spacing is fantastic. Dude, it's so good. Okay, there's the uppercut. Max damage there. Oh, when he fished for that fierce. That fierce is a crush counter. Oh, dash. Man, and that white life made that throw really hurt. Anti air jab again, and yes, he's got it. Four Wu, dominating fashion. Character better than almost anybody else. Yeah, he's got a period. So I think that that is a really good plan. Wow. Well, the plan so far. <laughs> Has oh been my god! Hit by legs all day. Yeah. Really close to stun too. I was gonna say, Kutex, I'm obviously a fan of Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. Oh man, that and, slide. Uh, in that game, you know, suddenly a big issue. So he has a lot of experience against the character. Okay, there's forward throw, and after forward throw, yeah, you see the forward fierce from Gutex there. After forward throw, forward fierce with uh, Ryu is a meaty. So it's a really good option. You can see that in the book. Oh, walk under from Ricky there. I don't think that's in the book. Oh, punish, yeah, that's uh -oh. definitely a punish. You can do low forward fireball too close, uh, or it is unsafe, and that Not a baby. B trigger only combo, low jab, low medium kick. Really nice stuff for all of those uh, B trigger only moments. Oh, that forward medium punch from Chun Li, that little stab, so nice. Oh, standing light kick, that was sick. There's the low, uh, low medium kick buffer. Oh, and I like that Gutex just got out of the corner there. Instant air legs. Man, Ricky has been so forward and so in your face with Chun Li. Oh, that's no a punish. punish. No! A yeah, huge mistake there by Ricky. Okay, throw attempt from Gutex. And man, gets under. It's been all Ricky so far. Oh, yeah. Low 40x legs all day. Whiff he's, punish. It's almost like third strike super. The way he's using it right now. Oh, and there's the sweep. Okay, and man, you know what? Every time Gutex has tried to have a meaty, Ricky has had wake up jab. Ooh, and there's the Fierce. That was a dominant two rounds for Ricky there. Gutex has really got to figure out. Well, I don't think it's a bad call uh, because the damage output is so nice. Wow, selling that promo oh, for man. real. Here we Buy, go. My <laughs> <book>. <laughs> <laughs> Buy my book. That's what Mika's saying there. Oh, and there's that standing medium kick from her. There it is, plus frames here. Okay, yeah, so what Gutex is looking for after uh, that charge up drop kick is short, strong. It's a target combo, and it's uh, you can see it. Encounter with a bunch of stuff. Wow, the armor on that. That H may be there. why he wants this matchup. Wall bounce. There it is. Sure. Ooh, interesting. I wonder what that uh, that whip there on the the booty drop was about. Oh, and the shimmy. Don't leave this man. Over for your legs. Look out. No blocks in the overhead. That cost him. Wow, Gutex is smiling now, but not a good smile. Yeah, it was a painful like, smile. Yeah. yeah, it was not a good smile. No. That is three rounds straight, Ricky Ortiz. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that round started good for Gutex. He actually had the lead halfway through. Yeah, I, I definitely think it was looking nice. 
Really just kind of figure things out here. There's that forward medium kick from Mika. Really nice, but actually really good to go against or crouching forward as well. Man, these instant air legs are a big oh problem. Oh my goodness. Wow, that was crazy. I can't believe he saw that. That was nuts. And man, Gutex has really got to figure it out. Does have D-Trigger though. Which can be really nice offense. Oh, a good tech though from Gutex. He needed that. Good reaction there from Ricky. Yeah, we saw that Ricky had the same reaction earlier against Snake Eyes. Okay, combo here. Gonna be able to do a V-Trigger setup. Set set up. Oh, and, oh, good block. He's needed to block that overhead. Ooh, and drop. a stunner! Man, there have been no command throws from Gutex so far. There it is, off the wall. There we go, second chance reset. Boom! V-Trigger's oh. not available because the V-Reversal. Oh, no anti-air from Ricky, and that... Little two piece there is gonna seal the round for Gutex. Yeah, after the EX pretty bird, I think Final Gutex could have pointed the round us, but he's, he hesitated. So here we go, final round, game two. Yeah, I think Gutex had already committed to something else, you know what I mean? Yeah. He was just not thinking about it because something else was on his mind. Oh, and he charged up the drop kick there. There's a crush counter sweep. Yeah, dash for mass, uh, corner push. Didn't get over the fireball there. Uh oh. Anti air jab. And there's a command throw for the first time from Gutex. Oh, and a combo off the wall. Nice, oh, maximum nice. corner push. Carry, exactly. Oh, and missed time forward fierce there from Boots. Wake up jump. Oh, and no. not a combo. There it is, that's funny. Hit stuff. He takes the lead. Set point for Ricky still. Yeah, still v trigger. v trigger. Oh, nice V-reversal. Yeah, but no V-Trigger now for Gutex though. Yeah, oh, we command throw, yeah. Disco at all. Oh, Got and another him. command throw. Boom, right into the corner. One a peep. And Gutex, oh, Gutex is Gutex sitting there thinking dirty. about his life. Yeah, he gets to think about his life. Ooh, that is punish. not fair. It's the advantage of sitting player one, dude. Oh, Anti here, like it, yeah. Oh, a neutral jump, massive punish. There's that instant air legs again. It's so close to stun, but man, cornered by Mika here. Oh, this is tough. There's that armor again, man. Gutex, Mika looking real strong so far. Oh, Nadeshko is coming. Nadeshko? That's not her name either. Her name's Nadeshko. I'm pretty sure it's not. It's Nadeshko. You're missing an eye somewhere. Close round though. Is that forward medium kick? Oh, and you see that low, yeah, low strong uh, V-trigger cancel is the business. Oh, combo. Big damage there, instant overhead coming. No. <gasps> Command throw from Goots. He needs one more. Oh, the oh and he gets it. <laughs> Gutex, match point over EG Ricky Ortiz. Oh, an interesting sentence. That. There's the back throw. But here we go. Full meter for Ricky still. Oh, there's the dash up. Yeah, lots of dash forward from Ricky. And there's that it armor again. again. It's him right now. It's insane. There's that tech. Charge up drop kick. And there's the command throw after the so nice. Far. The nice part about drop kick is that it also adds white light. So it means that that command yeah. throw does even extra damage there. Look out. Good throw attack. Ooh, try to sweep. Which you can also cancel. Oh yeah, see, fishing with that that low, that strong, uh, short, strong target combo. Nadeshko. Uh oh. Oh, Look interesting. Out. Yeah, he went to the command guard. It's gonna cost him the round. Yeah. Final, final round coming up. Final Gotta round. think about it. Final round. Gutex with lots of meters still, even though he spent that uh, EX bar just a bit ago. Lots of neutral here so far. Ricky uh, slowing things down, but at any moment could dash forward. Good block here from Gutex finally. Oh, there's the combo off the ropes. Oh, he dropped whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, big mistake. Yeah, big choke there from Gutex. There's that throw tech. Armor again. Wow, I feel like Gutex hits that every time. Off the ropes again. Gets the back dash. There's a round boom, out. Boom, a -A -A. boom. Command throw coming. He went for it, and there's a big back throw from Ricky. Right, here we go. He's in the corner now. Gutex flips his way out. Oh, I like him getting out of there with that, yeah. Yeah, no, earlier when he said he reacted, I think he was just trying to get out of the corner. You might be right, yeah. Oh, wow, Goot's hitting lots of buttons here, real, being real active. Chun's V-Trigger available, same with Mika's. Yeah, Mika got to try to find a way to get into V-Trigger there. Oh, oh and nice again! Choice. Is he going to pop it? No, he respects no. the wake-up. Good, Good blocks, block, though. Round oh. Oh. oh, punish. Punish there. Oh, he could have blocked stunner. and punished. Instead, got the stunner. Now, no V-Trigger. Oh, oh combo! Again. Forward fierce. EX grab, Woo! and Gutex is going to take it 2-1. to one. Buy this man!